guys, welcome back to The Bright Side. Nacy here, The Bright Side Girl, and today we're gonna be doing my Disney Halloween haul. In case you missed it, I have two other Halloween hauls that are already up. I'll link them up in the cards for you guys, as well as my full Halloween and fall playlist. This video is going to be all the Disney-themed Halloween items I got, and there is a lot of stuff that I'm excited to show you. A couple items I got at the Disney parks. A few things were sent to me from friends, and then I will let you know the stores and everything that I found, all the other stuff. I've been saving it to share with you guys. If this sounds good to you, then just keep watching. Okay, so first up, we're actually gonna talk about the dress that I am wearing. So this is a Nightmare, I'll put a little picture up here, Nightmare Before Christmas dress. I actually got it last year at the parks, but I believe it's still available, so I'll link it down below as well if there's still like a link for it. I think you can get it on Shop Disney as well. This was a $39 dress. I have the magic key, so I got 10% off. It's just like a t-shirty type dress, but it is so comfortable, and it's actually really hard to find Halloween items by me that are not long sleeves or sweaters. I have a lot of that from like living in Missouri before when things would get really cold in October. So I'm constantly looking for more short sleeves and especially tank tops because like we're getting ready to be 90 degrees like the first week of October again. But I still want to be fun and festive so stuff like this is really great. It's one of the most flattering and comfortable dresses that I own as well. Okay then my friend Brittany and I do a Halloween gift exchange every year. We set like a a budget amount and then we send each other Halloween boxes just one box one for her one for me We also Halloween hunt for each other So if there's things that are like really hard to find like there's certain decor items Especially Disney items that are very hard to find Ironically, she had a much better time finding Disney stuff than me Probably because I live near Disney and they're a little bit more vulture over here But she found me some things that I couldn't find so they had these spider web Mickey mugs with the black on the inside. So this is by Zreich Brands. This was at, I think, Marshalls or Home Goods or TJ Maxx. I believe these were $5.99. I was especially excited for this because it's stoneware and it has the etching like I keep talking about in all my videos. So a lot of the other Disney mugs, especially a couple I'll show you, are that cheaper ceramic, so you gotta be extra careful. But these are more sturdy and they're dishwasher safe. And I'm saying these because she also found me this orange version. I couldn't believe it. Like, I went hunting so many times and I could not find them. And she had such good luck finding these. So, same thing, $5.99. She also found me this pumpkin Mickey with the Happy Halloween. Same thing with the stoneware, $5.99. Oh! I love them so much. And then she found me this ghost Mickey with the little topper. This was $12.99. Same thing, Zrike Brands or however you say it. Last year they did a pumpkin and honestly, her and I agreed that we kind of liked this brand's versions. It's still Disney, but it's through this other brand. We liked their versions of the Disney mugs like almost better than the park stuff, which especially last year, last year's park stuff was really weird and Mickey looked like an old grandpa. <laughs> but I'm so happy to have this guy. It's so cute. This one is the ceramic, so I gotta be a little bit more careful, but I'm just glad that he survived the mail. She also found me this little Nightmare Before Christmas Jack Skellington tomb. This is like a plasticky type little tomb guy that is at, at home. So she found this there. I never saw them at mine, but she grabbed it for me. It's gonna be good for my Jack Skellington bathroom. She also found me these little zero earrings on Etsy. So cute. And then she found me this Jack Skellington crossbody bag and it says Master of Fright on the back. This is by storybook. I think she had her friend that lives near Disney World pick this up for me, but it goes perfectly with my dress. I want to share this too. I got it last year in a different gift exchange and it was on my Amazon wish list, but it's still available on Amazon. So this Jack Skellington like piggy bank. So he's got a little piggy bank. I use him as like a statue right now, but he is I think $20 on Amazon. He's like a nice uh, like resin, which kind of nice to not have everything be like ceramic because I know that he won't like break really easily. They have a zero one that I want as well. So I put that on my wish list for, for next year. Then I hunted all over to find this guy at Walgreens. So this is just like a glass candy jar. I really wish that it had a lid because this reminds me of the gumball machines from Target that were kind of all the rage last year and this year. I think I'm gonna fill this with like bath salts or bath bombs and put them in the bathroom because I have like a nightmare before Christmas themed bathroom. Um, again, this has got like, this is gonna come off eventually. It's not gonna be the nicest thing. And this was $20, which was 
a lot but I'd never seen anything like this before so I went ahead and grabbed it then I went to Macy's backstage which is at some Macy's stores they have like this this thing called Macy's backstage which has like sale items and things and at the beginning of the season they had this little vampire Mickey mug again so cute between this and the ghost mug it was like so much cuter than the parks one so again ceramic so you got to be careful but it was $6.99 okay at the parks I got a couple of tchotchkes so I'll show you guys so I got this was a total impulse well kind of impulse buy I got this <laughs> vampire mater straw now I have a thing I don't like non-clear straws because you can't like see them very well and I feel like I don't know I like things to be cleanish so he's just like a little straw clip or you could like hook him onto a backpack or something I thought this was very very fun that was six dollars at Flo's cafe in the Disneyland Park and then at various locations they have these little glow cubes and they're supposed to be like fake ice cubes they're you're not supposed to freeze them or anything they just go into your drinks and make them more festive they sell a lot of them like in the drinks I have wanted one for three years and every time I go I'm never able to get them I mostly want the holiday ones and they're always sold out but I was able to get this one and I got another one for my friend Brittany too which I was so excited about they're just a, a weird little thing that you can put in like a Halloween mocktail or cocktail then also at the parks I got this Disneyland like I know it's really shiny with the ring light there we go stainless steel tumbler and it has like Mickey and Donald and they're all like at the Haunted Mansion having a Halloween party it says Disney Parks it came with this little lanyard and this little way to like carry it around the park and this is like vacuum sealed so things stay really cold and it was actually really nice because we went when it was kind of hot and I just carried it my eyes stayed cold and they would fill it up for me so this was 30 I think which is pretty expensive I didn't have a travel mug for Halloween yet so yay okay then at Walmart every year I go and check because they have these awesome necklace sets and different kind of parked themed things so they had these hair ties so cute so this was a jack one I should be wearing this today and then this is just an all-over nightmare one and then I got this Mickey one that has like I don't know if you can tell but it's got like little Mickey pumpkin heads and candy on it and then this little Minnie Mouse one so cute just to wear at the parks I've been kind of getting back into scrunchies recently this was like a thing when I was in high school but they really are softer on your hair <laughs> I did not have a Halloween backpack to go to the parks and I really love having a backpack when we go to the parks because it's so much easier on your body I wore a regular purse one time and my arm was like hurting so bad so I found this Minnie Mouse backpack at Ross for $18 which is a steal and it's a little bit larger it's not a lounge fly or anything um, and it's not technically Halloween but it was black and so it worked really well with like different outfits and now I have one to use for a regular time of the year too so I thought this was an awesome deal okay then at I think I got all of these at TJ Maxx I was able to find some statues so I don't want the house overrun with Disney I really honestly go more with like a gothic witchy theme but in my bedroom my bathroom and the kitchen I've gone a little bit more cutesy so I found this Mickey Mouse statue with the pumpkin and I love him and he was $15 which is pretty good for how big he is and that he's Disney Disney stuff is very expensive like in the parks so this was a TJ Maxx and if you find this kind of stuff like it's a big deal because people come and buy all of them and then like sell them on eBay these are like a plastic type material so they won't break too easily then I found Jack Skellington with the little pumpkin He's a little smaller, same price though. This again might go in the bathroom with the other Jack Skellington stuff I have. And then I found Zero, which is like my favorite. I think I might put this in my husband's office because he loves dogs and he loves Zero. So he's got the little pumpkin nose, so cute. Also at Walmart, I got this Nightmare Before Christmas t-shirt. I think this was like five or six dollars. Again, something just really light and casual that I can wear and not be too hot and they all are like holding little pumpkins and things so kind of cute the only jewelry piece I wound up getting at Walmart were these zero earrings now I have those ones from Brittany but I didn't know I was getting those and these were only six dollars and I got like really cute ones last year like Mickey and Minnie but I didn't like I like the enamel button style look rather than the like plasticky look I don't know how to explain it but there were ones that looked cheaper so I liked this style and Again, I got this last year at the Disney parks, but I think it's online and I think they have it like all the time or it kind of comes in and out. This Jack Skellington pillow, he's two-sided. 
I got him at the Disney store for $22. Super fun. Disney keeps a lot of their Nightmare Before Christmas stuff out like all year round. So a lot of times you can find it like not Halloween. Last year at the outlets, or I guess this year, I think I got this in like January. Sadly, they don't have very many Disney stores anymore, but if you have an outlet or if you're able to go to one, definitely check because they get amazing things. So they had this giant Mickey candy bowl. He's humongous. He was $12 and I got 20% off of that and he was regularly 40 at the parks. And this, I love him with his ears and stuff. I have no idea where he's gonna live. He's huge. Where am I gonna put him? I almost wish he wasn't ceramic because then I could maybe put him outside. But he says like trick or treat on the back. So I've technically been Halloween hunting since January because I got this guy. Also at the outlets, same thing, $12. I got this Hocus Pocus button up shirt. It's kind of hard to show you. It's got like a little tie and the buttons are like moons and stars and cats and things. And it's so cute. This was 12 at 20% off. Really cute. Again, I got these earlier this year at the Disney store, but I believe they're still available. So I got this poison apple candle. It smells really good. It's actually apple scented and the green wax and everything. This was 35, so it was pretty expensive, but I think I got it again on sale, like 20% off. Um, and this is something that I don't know if you've seen, but I've kind of left it out all year round. Poison apple's debatable on whether it's Halloween or not, but I love it. And then I got this poison apple like tall mug that has like the little travel thing. This was 20, so that's not too bad for like an actual in-store Disney mug. Really, really cute. Love it. And this is one's like a really nice quality. Then at Home Goods, this was the one major thing I wanted this year besides the mugs that my friend found for me. Because it's black and white, it goes really well with like all my decor, so if I want to change things up. This won't clash too bad. I have a lot of spider web things, as you can tell. What is this Mickey spider web blanket? I love a good subtle Disney item. Don't get me wrong, like I love that Mickey statue, but when they're subtle like this and you almost can't tell that they're Disney, this one you can a little more. So this was 20 and this is a twin size plush blanket that I got at Home Goods. Okay, you guys, I think that's everything I got for my Disney haul. Some of this stuff I got earlier in the year, so I didn't necessarily get this all at once. Some of it was gifted to me. I know it's kind of crazy, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out those other ones in the cards. Let me know if you enjoy Disney down below in the comments. Let me know what your favorite piece was. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time on the bright side and tomorrow. Bye.